What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Derek Chisora. Cool Brad Pulev. Get this. Chisora quotes, I guarantee I'll stop him. Derek Chisora vows to smash Kubrat Pulev like Anthony Joshua did ahead of the July fight. Derek Chisora has been ignited on a war of words with Kubrat Pulev ahead of his next month's blockbuster heavyweight rematch, saying, I guarantee I'll stop him. The first pair fought in 2016 when the Bulgarian star Pulev 41 edged to narrow points victory in Germany. Now, Derek has vowed to stop Pulev in their heavyweight fight. Of course, Chisora 38 goes into the July 9th fight at the 02 off the back of three straight decision defeats against Joseph Palka twice and Alexander Usyk. But he was optimistic Friday in a press conference in London as he vowed to smash his old rival. Pulev kicked off the press conference in humble manner saying, I want to say to Derek, I have respect for him. He always takes difficult opponents like me and his last three fights, and he's not scared to fight with anybody. I take this fight because I'm ready. My last fight against Jerry Forrest was a similar style to Derek Chisora. It was like one big sparring session for me. He didn't hurt me. He couldn't do a lot against me. I just won easily. Derek is a different opponent. My fight against Joshua here in London, I was not prepared. No sparring, nothing before that. I had COVID. I'm very, I am a very good boxer technically and amazing condition. Also, I have everything. Let me stop there. Um, Derek Chisora, I understand why he feels he must stop him. Why? Because... Derek just saw a lot of his losses. He's kind of like the Emmanuel uh, Burton or the Emmanuel Augustus, a lot of people, the drunken master, where he has a lot of fights where they could have went either way. Take, for example, the Joseph Parker fight, the first one, not the second, but the first one. A lot of people had him beating Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker was just the more of the marketed fighter, the younger fighter, so they gave him the nod. There's been many situations like that in the sport of boxing involving Derek Chisora. Okay, so um, three back-to-back -back losses for Chisora. Really, you look at actually he's he's one. He's two and one. Okay, or one and two rather, um, because I think he beat Joseph Parker. And if he does edge Kubrat Pulev, I think Pulev is done forever because I think he's now 40, 41 now. So I think he's done. He's made his money by fighting Joshua. And speaking of Joshua for a minute, uh, all those excuses were bullshit. Yeah, I had COVID. We never heard of that. Oh, I wasn't prepared. We thought you were in the best shape of your life. You didn't look like you were out of shape. You know, uh, I didn't have any sparring. That's the first time I ever heard you didn't have sparring against Anthony Joshua for three fucking belts. I mean, you got to think about it. Like, what I don't like is all the out of the woodwork uh, excuses that people bring up with. They come up with. It's like they pull them out of their ass or something because it's like, well, we didn't hear all that in the buildup. We heard how Anthony Josh was a pussy. I'm in, the sh I'm in the shape of my life. I'm going to beat him down. And once that didn't happen, now we have all this. We had COVID excuse like everybody pulled. You know, no sparring, which is new. And I wasn't prepared, which is also new. So um, him going in there and fighting Derek Chisora, I think, you know, is a good scrap. Uh, Derek Chisora should have that mindset of stopping these opponents because, you know, like Austin Trout said, you know, another uh, older seasoned warrior that didn't get nods in a certain situations, you're going to have to start knocking them out or retire if you want to stay in here. You have to be this relentless monster over the hill assassin and knock these guys out because they're not going to give you anything. OK, so anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Derek Chisora vowing to stop Kubrat Pulev on their July 9th clash at the O2 Arena. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.